It's been nice um, spending almost seven months in Parkfield and integrating with the community here and, and um, pulling off a, a really interesting um, 21st century earth science, science fiction, earthwork. The story of now, the future we're living in. I've started frequenting the West Coast USA April 2006, so yeah. I've had two years, two and a half years now in planning this, and well, two and a half years to wrap it all up. Um, and with the GS, um, this idea of art and science merging. And so this is just one of those little interesting little early stages of um, art and science um, converging and coming together. This, this project, um, is a, is a seismic reflector. I'm using the science of the GS to drive the installation. Uh. So it was triggered by all Californian seismic events, magnitude 0 0.1 and above. One way to think of it, I think it was like a switch, that triggers. So what would happen is the, the events would trigger the table, so the table then would actually output it. So we can, rods attached to the table would resonate, yeah. reflect, um, and magnitude determined duration. Bigger the magnitude, longer the duration. The installation landed here in uh, June. Yeah. And we began installing in June, um, and the system went live on the 18th of August. It took about nine, six, what was it, 60, 77 days to to, to install and test. Uh -huh. um, it ran continuously for 91 days, and eight days to get it out of the hole. Wow! For two days, and I should have the container packed up. <laughs> this has been an interesting exercise, but not not funded. Totally unfunded. <sighs> It was really about bringing, bringing all the seismic activity um, that occurs very frequently that we don't see or we don't feel to the surface. Yeah. So, you know, hypothetically and conceptually, the installation here became the conceptual epicenter of Californian earthquakes for that 91 duration. So it's actually feeding it all here. But on average, it's about 12 to 14,000 earthquakes a year. Was the movement that the rods depicted was that recorded movement or was that live? It was live when an earthquake occurred sure. in the state. Sure. It played here on this. Correct. Oh man, that's Correct. beautiful. Correct. And what I'm and what I'm and what I'm doing now is, um, besides packing up and getting out of this um, this hole, <laughs> um, is now I'm working towards um, an urban earthwork variation of this project oh. in Los Angeles, 2010. Oh man. So then working and in, 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 in looking at ideas of putting it in a um, parking station or on top of a, a low-level building somewhere like um, Debrea Tar Pits would possibly be suitable. But I'm interested in going to Los Angeles because of the, the big city. It's a driving culture. So in some ways it'll be like a drive-in earthwork uh -huh. um, and expand on the extensions to the table, the rods. So looking at carbon fiber and fiberglass materials and get 30, 40, 50 feet. So almost like this oscillating, resonating, almost like cacti. Yeah. Um, and again, it'll be, it'll be temporary based. It'll be a short-term earthwork. This is performance. And as I call it, this is part machine, part earthwork, part performance. And so there's been all these various layers of interactivity and undertaking of assemblage and now disassemblage. So there's a strong history too of, the, of land art and earthworks in the US that began in the late 60s, early 1970s. And then this is a 21st century expansion of some of those ideas. Oh. This was a living, breathing, real, interactive, yeah. truly connected machine system with this geological seismic landscape. Very, yeah, very interesting ideas. <sighs> Some high resolution LiDAR scans were taken of the installation and I'm going to start working towards um, um, building a, 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 a digital model of the machine and actually enabling that 3D model which can be projected three-dimensionally on a flat screen wall and browser based as a real-time document. So that machine LiDAR document will continue its connectivity, its liveness by introducing ah. real time, the same real time connectivity to that, to the machine here, to the model, and it remains as a real time connected virtual photograph. I welcome the pleasure of doing this and being in the US and being a part of this, the beginning of the 21st century and working in this way. It's very exciting. Yeah.